if you yield yourself to sexual sin right now and you live in it, your future is not guaranteed. Your relevance is a function of how much you have equipped yourself with information. The first thing I want to tell you, the first thing, it doesn't matter whether it, it is popular or not popular. Put God first. Have the fear of God. When I was at your age, there were so many things I avoided to get to where I am. I didn't get where I am by accident. So many women came to me. I was famous. I was very young, vibrant, anointed young man. And I was very learned, by the way, because I was very intelligent. When I was young, I was one of the best in, my, in the school. I was good looking. I had a very polished English. So, every possible thing that could attract a woman, I had. So I could have been having sex every day of my life, if I wanted to, with different girls. Could have done that. I had every chance to do it. I had every privilege to do it. You know what happened? I chose not to. It was a choice. Was attempted many times. I'm a human. I'm married. You see, that when you see a man that is married, what does that mean? That man is sexually active, right? Because you can't be married if you're not sex if you're not what? Sexual. Young people, are you hearing me? Whatever you're struggling with, I struggled. We all struggled. Is that okay? I was tempted like you were tempted. But in the middle of that temptation, I had a choice. Even though you've messed up, you can decide not to have it again. Anything you call boyfriend is boy destruction. Boy what? But just, just don't forget this one. If anyone comes and says, be my boyfriend, remember this. Let it ring in your head and say, boy, destruction. If you yield yourself to sexual sin right now and you live in it, your future is not guaranteed. When you are young and 20, 19, 20, okay? Even 22, you're very young. What you have to do is brag about how many books you have read. read. That's what you brag with. When I was 17, I think I've read up to 250 something books at, at the age of 17. By the age of 21, I can't, I, I can't remember how many books I've read. I read books on, on courtship, relationship, marriage, while I was still 17, 19, 20. I read about even why you act the way you do. Spirit control, temperament. I, I so read that books read me. By the age of 28, 29, I was already counting in millions. I knew too much. I'm not kidding. My mates are still hunting for job. I read. You don't listen. Your, your, your future is not a gift. Let nobody fool you. Ah, your future is black. It's not true. The future is the choices you're making today. Period. Whether you like it or not. The choice you're making now is your future. Your relevance is a function of how much you have equipped yourself with information. I cannot walk with you beyond the capacity of your intelligence. Life is not fair. Life is not unfair. Life is the amount of relevance 
you have invested in yourself. 21, <laughs> ma'am, 2021, 20, 19, shh, forget it. Time goes so quickly. By the time you know it, you've, you've, you've moved from this stage. By the time you enter 29, <laughs> you will stop playing this thing. This still of thinking you, you are the most beautiful all the time you are in the mirror. It's just for a moment. Few years to come, reality will be done on you. You're just like, my life, what have I done with my life? Then you try to catch up, but it's too late. You wasted your time with looking at yourself, clubbing, smoking, looking at men who's gonna who's looking at you. Men that are looking at you now are not men. They are born boys. Anyone coming to you now is a boy. You're not ready. Some of these young boys are not ready. You don't need that distraction. Don't open your urges. Don't open your sexuality. Don't open your affection for now. If you're 20, 21, 22, you don't need that at all. You start considering that at a, when you're in your last year in the university. Marriage, you can start considering. If, you really, if you're desperate of getting married, of getting somebody was your last year in the university. Affection is destructive. You can't handle it now. You don't need, what you call love right now is not love. It's false evidence. It's false. It's destructive. If you have lost your virginity, listen to this. Don't give up. You can begin afresh today. Make a decision in your heart to say, I will keep myself holy. I will. If men start coming, cut them off. Report them to your parents. Speak out. Block them. And the Lord will bless you. Stay pure. Stay holy. Do you promise me that every month you will read seven books? Do you, do you promise me? Now, nah, I want to hear that you did. Read books on 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 temperament, business, psychology, business management. Are you just books? Get get good books, okay? Read as much as you can, at least seven books in a month, and then get books on Christian faith. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? And then if you chat a lot on WhatsApp, cut it down. Cut down chatting, okay? Don't chat much. Okay? Okay? Don't chat much. Don't spend a lot of your time on social media. Okay? Study a lot. Discipline yourself. Take a back look and padlock your private part. Padlock it. Nobody crosses there again in the name of Jesus Christ. And that's it. Say amen, sons of God. Amen. That's it. Amen. Stand for Jesus. Keep your body. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And that's what it is. Keep it pure. And stay holy. Your future is guaranteed. I have a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a message of Jesus. Yeah.